Hi everybody, all my followers. Uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this video today is on a 2007 Vauxhall Vectra 1.9 uh, CDTI. And what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to be uh, removing the DPF from the ECU. So I'm already in the progress. It's already copying uh, or downloading the software as you can see. It is nearly there. There is. So he's gonna. He's asking me to save the file now. So the first thing we did, um, I didn't record it right from the beginning. Uh, I was not planning to do this video, but uh, anyway. So the first thing I've done was connect um, Opcom to identify the ECU. The ECU on this car is the EDC is a Bosch uh, EDC 16 C39. Uh, be careful because you have this engine with two different ECUs. You can have the EDC 16 C39 or you can have the EDC 16 C9. So be careful before, make sure you identify the ECU correctly. Um, so in our case is a EDC um, 16C39 uh, I've selected that I'm using MPPS uh, for that just let me save this file I'm gonna save the file and go on desktop I can leave that number is fine So he's asking me to allow uh, five seconds to turn the key off, allow five seconds uh, before continue. Um, but as you can see in there on the side, uh, I've selected the proper uh, ECU, C39. Uh, the first thing I've done before I even pressed the red button was a ECU ID. Make sure it comes up with the correct ECU, which it did. So engine type, so everything's correct. Uh, we're going to now press OK. So that's it. Um, we read this U. The first thing I'm going to do next is make sure we still have an engine that starts, which it does, which means the re the reading of the ECU went just fine. Um, an engine off. Now uh, the first, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to attempt, we're going to try to remove the DPF from that uh, flash. From the maps that we have just downloaded. So okay, so that's what we're gonna do next, but I'm not gonna do that on here because I don't have software. I do have, but not all the softwares. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on my workshop on my other computers and we're gonna try to do that. Uh, before that, I'm gonna transfer this file into my server. So I can then download the file uh, on my other computers at the back, um, on my workshop uh, at the back of the house. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so we are back now. I do apologize for the way I've started that video. Um, like I said, I was not really planning to record that. It was a last minute thing. Um, uh, I don't even know why I was not planning to record it. But uh, anyway, so we are back on, the, on my workshop now. and. Um, you are probably, if you follow my, my channel, you are familiar uh, with this screen. So the first thing I'm going to do, this doesn't really matter, but uh, I'm going to enable my network. Uh, this uh, laptop, this computer, due to obvious reasons, the internet is disconnected all the time. I only connect the internet <clears throat> when I have it, nothing open and when I need to get to the network. I don't browse on this computer or anything like that. So we're going to go to my server. And uh, no, it's not that one. It's that one. So this is my file. I've changed the name already, and we're gonna copy this file. And we're gonna put this file here somewhere. Let's say here. So that's it. 
Okay, now the software I'm going to use is going to be this one, which is called Volta. I believe I can do that with this. Let me center the thing a little bit more. <coughs> so uh, I think it's that one in there. Yes, it is. So DPF remove Bosch DC 16, 9, and 39. So that's the one we want open the file so the file is going to be on my desktop and it says Bosch hmm. is that one in there then open I'm gonna select the model now so is that one in there okay and we're gonna decode the file the name we want for the file is going to be the same name, but we're going to put rather than Ori for original. We're going to change that for DPF off. Okay, and we make save. And uh, is applying the the patch as you can see on the status bar. We're going to let it run. Okay, so the file has been now saved. Okay. And we can close Volta. My file is now here. And we're going to copy this file back into the server. Okay. And that's it. Uh, the file should be now decoded. So the DPF should now be off and uh, all we need to do now is put the file back into the engine ECU. Now, uh, you, I'm going to show you when we load the file back. Uh, MPPS for this ECU, it does calculate the checksums, which uh, means we don't need to do that now. Um, the, the MPPS will do that uh, when, uh, as when it loads the file back into the ECU. Now, if that was not the case, um, which MPPS will also tell you if he can or not um, do the, the, the checksum calculations, we'll have to do that before we load the file. Now, um, the, the best way to do that, providing you have the original file, which we do, is using... Um, is using... A, uh, win win alls whatever yeah so that's the best way to do it um, I might do a video uh, just to show you how you can calculate the checksums um, with uh, win alls uh, using obviously uh, both files uh, you do need um, the the original file uh, unless you have um, unless you have a valid license or winalls and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail on that. Uh, but providing you have uh, both files, the original file and, ever, and and obviously then the modified file, uh, you can do uh, the the checksum calculation using uh, winalls. Um, there there is other softwares out there uh, that can can do that. I usually use uh, winalls. It does the job. So that's how I do it. Um, so yeah, one day uh, I'll might make a video if you guys really find that uh, that uh, that will be valuable. I might do a video for Winalls on how to calculate the checksums uh, with it. So, but for now, all we're going to do we're going to go back into the car and we're going to load the file. Okay, so here we are back onto the car. 
on the car so as you can see this is the Bosch uh, file that we have just modified so I'm going to copy that into my uh, desktop and now we're going to open um, MPPS again now this is what I'm telling you so when you select this U in this case you just pre-select the last ECU we have used it tells you right at the bottom that the checksum is calculated by the program when it, when it can't do it as you can see for example on that one you need to checksum this file before writing so it means that the software can't calculate the checksum so we need to do it before like I said if you really find guys let me know on the comments below if you really find that would be interesting to have one of those videos I will make a video for it um, on how to calculate the checksums using uh, we know uh, so then let's let's gonna now do this so I want to write the file back onto the car I'm going before that let's gonna ID DCU so there we go now let's gonna write the file and the file we want is that one in there I'm gonna make open are you sure you want to continue the programming? Yes, I do. And it's programming. So we're going to allow it to go to the to the end. Obviously. During this, guys, do not touch the car. Do not touch the computer. Just leave everything to follow their their natural course. Don't touch anything, guys. Uh, and I speak by experience. Not, not, not because I've touched anything, but I had a few scares in the past. So don't open doors. Don't do nothing. Just leave it running. And it's nearly there. There's a little bit of glare on the screen, but I'm sure you can see that. So we can hear the ECU kind of rebooting. So wait five seconds to continue. So we're going to switch the ignition off. And switch the ignition back on. Okay, and it's done. And now we're gonna attempt to start the engine. And the engine is running. I don't know if you have seen that, but there was a few lights flashing here before. Uh, they were all related to DPF faults. Uh, was I think was a back pressure fault. Uh, was a, a temperature sensor, a DPF temp temperature sensor, or something like that. Uh, it was a few faults here. The engine light, I think, was off when I started to record, but the light would come on uh, if you drive the car, uh, obviously, for the DPF as well. As you can see, there's no lights now uh, because obviously the ECU is not looking for those uh, values anymore and it's not going to trigger any faults. So, all I'm going to do now is we're going to go for a drive test or for a drive test, for a test drive, make sure the car runs okay. But uh, there's no reason why not. The car started just fine. Uh, so yeah, we have removed the DPF on this car. The deep, sorry guys, the DPF physically has been removed already. Uh, don't know how they did it. Uh, the car came to me just to to do this, but the DPF has been removed already physically. Uh, so that's something that you need to do as well. And uh, and that's it, really. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. Um, right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope there's some information here that can uh, can be useful for you. If you have any questions, um, any comments, put them below. And uh, like always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos.